everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Welcome to our new subscribers and welcome back to our subscribers who have been with us for a while. I appreciate your support of me. You know that. And I appreciate your support of our channel. You know that too. And I hope you enjoy this video. I do. I hope you enjoy this video. So, two on a Tuesday again. Yay! Well, it actually might turn out to be a trifecta, but we'll have to see about that. I have a special treat that happened earlier here at Lilybug Lane this evening, and I want to share it with you. But right now, it is October 24th, 2017. Even in my wackadoodle mind it is, and I am 100% sure of the date. 100 percent sure of the date and we are in the six o'clock hour um it is a quarter to seven and um i went to the dollar tree today i did i did so i pick louise up from school and um you know it's funny because i just said in our valve vlog that time just seemed to be going at a normal rate and um yeah so i think I got a, caught a little unprepared, so I needed to run over to the wall, to the Dollar Tree to pick up some cards. I did. I did. Because next Tuesday is Halloween. I know. Get on it. Get on it, Mimi's and Papa's and Grandma's and Grandpa's and Mom's and Dad's if you give cards out for Halloween. Um, but anyway, so I had to go to the Dollar Tree. So I brought Louise home and settled her in nicely and told her the rules of, um, you know, staying alone at the house here. So there are rules. And I ran over to the Dollar Tree to get cards. That was the only thing I was going to get. That was the only thing on my list. And I want to share with you what I got. Keeping in mind, keeping in mind that I only went there to get cards. But the Dollar Tree is getting some fabulous things in. It is that time of year, friends. It is that time of year. <laughs> oh, dear me. You know, there are a couple of times a year here at Lilybug Lane where it seems like we just bleed money. We just bleed money. And, you know, we keep a pretty tight, we keep a pretty tight hold on our money here at Lilybug Lane. Chewy likes our money and I like our money. So we're very careful, um, you know, about spending our money and everything. But there are times of the year when it is a little, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a, a, a money fest here at Lilybug Lane. <laughs> and between, um, Halloween and the new year is one of those times of the year. And then the end of school till like the beginning of July, that's another time when it seems like, you know, all we do is turn around and spend money. So anyway, um, I want to share all of my goodies with you. I do. I do. So Chewy had an errand to run for me. He did. So that's what he is doing. Louise is upstairs finishing up her homework. She had a couple of chores that she had to do here at the, at the house this evening. So she is upstairs finishing her homework. And um, we had yummy spaghetti and meatballs tonight for dinner. We did. We did. So it has turned quite chilly here at Lilybug Lane this evening, and so we have the heat on. So without further ado, since I have already blathered on, blabbered on, yammered on, chatted on, ran my mouth, jibber-jabbered, whatever you want to say for four minutes, let's get on with this haul, shall we? We shall. So lots of fabulous things at the Dollar Tree. And uh, you know how much I love to get fabulous things. So the first thing I got was this roll of clear cellophane. And you all know how I feel about gift bags or gift baskets at the dog, um, making gift baskets for the holidays and for the littles and stuff like that. So I'm going to be getting ready to do the Ginger Snaps Halloween basket and um, or bucket, Halloween bucket. So I went ahead and picked up some of this cello wrap 
and you all know how I do the uh, cello wrap over the baskets and things for the ginger snap and for gift baskets and things like that. I also picked up two rolls of the uh, craft paper and I use these to wrap boxes when we when we mail things because it's just ne it's neater looking and it's more tidy to have the box wrapped in brown paper that way um, you know you don't have to mark out things that are already on the box so I got those <clears throat> I also have an affinity for wrapping paper you all know that and I could not resist this wrapping paper it is perfect 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 for a little boy for his birthday and of course you know we have a little boy here uh well we don't have a little boy here boy that happened quick didn't it it did um we don't have a little boy here at lily bug lane but we certainly have a little boy in our lives here at lily bug lane our sweet sweet ginger snap and um i thought this would be absolutely perfect paper for his birthday next year and what it is is it's just little monster heads with all these goo with all these eyes and stuff and birthday hats and little pieces of confetti and stuff on a blue background so I thought that would be really really cute with some balloons you know there's some balloons here and everything like that so I thought this would be very very nice to wrap uh, birthday presents in for the ginger snap next year and you all know when I you know that kind of stuff doesn't uh go bad at all so and I can use it for other things too if need be so I was very excited about that um let's see um I I told you all in my last Dollar Tree haul that I shared with you that I am absolutely in love with this daily defense and I had bought two pre uh just like a week ago I haven't gone through them already but I did want to pick up two more just to make sure that I had them and this is the shampoo so I picked up two more of the shampoo and it's got it has um macadamia oil in it and it smells absolutely wonderful so this is what I have been using on my hair for a while this with the conditioner and um it's doing it's doing very very nicely for my hair but um, anything that I put on my hair has to have moisturizing properties to it because of the fact that, um, you know, being in, in menopause and stuff like that. I'm not post-menopause yet. I'm still going through it. But one day I'll get there. One day I'll reach that 365. <sighs> Seriously, one day. One day I will. Not today, but one day. <laughs> I also like these little baby bottles of Tide. I don't know why. Um, you know, I don't buy Tide in the big honking mamma jamma things. It is just too dang expensive for me. Um, you know, we use the Sun, um, the Sun brand from the Dollar General, and I have a I have an obscene stock of that downstairs. But when we're going to bring our coats out for the season, um, I like to wash them in Tide just to have the nice fresh scent. So I got three of these, and these are just the little ones. You know, these are nice to send to college with the kids for the dorm, or if you're going on a vacation or a cruise or something like that. It's nice to have just a little bottle of this. And when you're done with this, don't throw it away because what you can do is just refill it with some more laundry soap. It doesn't have to be tied, and you can always have this cute little baby bottle of of laundry soap with you. But this is um, six loads. This is for six loads. So I got three of those to do our coats and you know sweaters and things like that with. And then I also picked up two of these downy fabric softeners in the little baby bottles too. And these are 12 loads per bottle. And you know, I like to use a uh, fabric softener in the winter time. So I will be using that on blankets and you know, things like that. So now is the time, at least where we are. I know not all of you are having the same weather we are here at Lily Bug Lane, but now is the time that we will start adding fabric softener into our wash, our laundry, to keep the static electricity down. I know, right? It's just awful. It is just awful. So you all know that the Dollar Tree accepts manufacturer coupons. They do. They do. You just have to read them carefully and make sure that what you are buying 
is applicable to the coupon that you are presenting. And you'll want to check with e with your Dollar Tree to make sure that you um, know their coupon policy. And um, as a corporation, I can tell you this with 100% certainty. As a corporation, the Dollar Tree does, does accept manufacturer coupons. As a corporation, it is their policy to accept manufacturer coupons. Now, whether or not your particular Dollar Tree is going to accept a particular coupon that you present to them is up to the manager as, as it is my understanding. That's how it works. But as a corporation, the Dollar Tree does accept manufacturer coupons. So I had two manufacturer coupons for a dollar off of two Lysol toilet bowl cleaners. So basically it was buy one, get one free because I picked up four of them. So I picked up four of the um, toilet bowl cleaners and I love the Lysol. And I will use the lavender scent, which is, let's see, Lavender Fields. I will use this downstairs for our powder room toilet. And then I will use these two in the upstairs bathrooms upstairs. So um, there are three bathrooms here at Lily Bug Lane that have to get cleaned weekly. So I go through, you know, at least once a week, all the toilets do get cleaned very, very well. So I'm not throwing the stuff this time. I'm just setting it down there. So anyway, so I like to use that and then, you know, you just put it in there underneath the bowl, underneath the rim and it, it, um, slides down the bowl and then gathers in the water there. And then you just take a toilet brush or whatever you use to clean your toilets and you just scrub it up, dub, 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 dub. And then, you know, your bowl is clean for the week. So there you go. There you go. I know, right? I know. I know. It, it sounds like a process, but it's not. I really don't mind cleaning the toilets. I really don't mind cleaning the toilets. And I mean, seriously, how hard is it to clean a toilet? I mean, you know, it's not my favorite thing to do, but it, I mean, it's simple dimple, you know? I mean, it doesn't take a lot of thought to clean a toilet. Honestly, it doesn't. So take that any way you want to. These are really, really good. I have gotten these before, and I was very excited to see them again. They weren't there the last time I was at my Dollar Tree, but they were there this time, and I actually picked up five packages of them. These are the Sherwood Nut Clusters, and this is peanut, sunflower, pumpkin seed, and cranberries. It has two grams of fiber, four grams of protein, no preservatives, and there's nine grams of fat per serving. This is non-GMO, gluten-free, and it is um, zero grams of trans fat. This is a three-ounce bag, and what these are, are these are just little squares of yummy goodness, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like a chewy granola bar, but it's cut into little squares, and the serving size on this is one ounce, and it says there are three servings per container. It doesn't tell you by piece how much there is because you would think they would tell you how many pieces that, you know, per serving. But these are really, really yummy. So I went ahead and picked up five bags of these and I will give Chewy two bags to take to work and then I will keep three here at the house because I really like them too. I really like them too. I also picked up this box. I was watching someone's Dollar Tree Hall, I do believe, and they talked about the brown gravy and how it was good to keep here at the house just as a staple to put into a recipe or something like that if you needed it. And so I went ahead and picked up a box of the um, Spice Trader brown gravy. So, and it has three pouches in it. So, you know, if I'm doing any crock pot meals or any, or any soups or anything like that, you may want to add a brown gravy mix to it. So I went ahead and picked up that. So we're kind of low here on snacky foods at Lily Bug Lane. Um, so I'm trying to build back up our snack, uh, our snacks, but we're kind of low right now on it. So, um, Julie, 209 Serenity, um, put, recommended these, blah, 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 blah. 
she recommended these and I pay, I went ahead and picked them up because I value Julie's opinion very, very highly. But these are the Biscolata, Biscolata um, lemon cookies. And Julie said that these are yum, yum, yummy. Now, um, lemon filled, lemon filled cookies topped with white chocolate and I love white chocolate. I probably like white chocolate better than I like brown chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. I like white chocolate. So I will be very, very excited to see, to try these. Now these came in lemon and they also came in orange, orange. They also came in orange. So, um, but Julie recommended the lemon. So I'm going to be very, very excited to try those and see how they taste because I trust Julie's opinion. I do, I do. I also picked up these, believe it or not, although Martha was supposed to give me the recipe for tortilla soup, which she has never given me the recipe for tor tortilla soup. Um, anyway, I, 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 can, I think I can handle it on my own. I think I can handle it on my own. So I went up, I went ahead and picked up these. These are by McCormick, and these are slow cooker, these are a limited edition slow cookers recipe and seasoning mix, and this is for chicken tortilla soup. And I'm spitting as I'm speaking. This has no MSGs and no artificial flavors, and this is a limited edition. They had different types there, but the tortilla soup is something that I've been wanting to try. And it does have the um, recipe on the back here, so I will just follow that recipe and um, make it my own. Now, let's see. Oh, in the ingredients, it does contain pepper, and it says it right on the back there. So you want to make sure that if you have any kind of allergies or anything, you always want to read the ingredient labels because you never know, um, you know, if you have an allergy that, you know, is, is a serious allergy, you don't want to be eating something that you shouldn't, right? Right. Because, you know, and... Peppers in just about everything. I not not coarse ground pepper like we like here at Lilybug Lane, but just you know the fine pepper. It's like in everything, and it certainly says it on the back. It certainly says it on this. It says pepper on the ingredients, so you wouldn't want to eat this if you were allergic to pepper, right? Right. I picked up these note cards too. I thought they were so pretty. They're blank, and they just have hearts on them, and it goes from like a light green to like a dark teal, but I thought those were awfully pretty. I know, right? They are. These would be pretty in lavender. They would be pretty in pink. Um, they would also be pretty in yellow too, um, but I thought these were awfully pretty, so I picked up those. Very, very excited about that. Um, let me tell you something. There are some cute magnets at the Dollar Tree. There are some really, really cute magnets. Excuse me, excuse me, we just ate. I know, right? We just ate. It wasn't chunky and it wasn't loud. It wasn't a belch. It was just a little bit of a hiccup. It was a little bit of a hiccup. But excuse me, excuse me! Okay, I found another, I found another magnet for Louise for her um, stocking. And this is po positive catitude. Isn't that cute? Positive catitude. I know, that is so cute, isn't it? It is. And then I found one for the dogs, and this says Live, Love, Bark. I thought this was really cute, too. Now, we don't have dogs here at Lilybug Lane, but we, we, know, a special, we know a special doggy who will absolutely um, like that. So we're going to send that to that special doggy. I also picked up some black paper shreds, worms, whatever you want to call them. I also picked these up to go into the uh, Ginger Snaps Halloween bucket. I know, right? Halloween's coming. It's a coming. And then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to Christmas, right? Because, you know, nobody pays attention to Thanksgiving. So I heard it through the grapevine that my Ginger Snap loves dinosaurs now. So I thought I would put these in his, um, in his uh, Halloween bucket. So little Triceratops. Rawr! Well, that kind of sounded like a Velociraptor, didn't it? It did. And this is a, this is a Stegosaurus. I know this one. This is a Stegosaurus. 
Um, and this is what? I don't know. The hammer, the hammer tail. I don't know what this is called. Um, dinosaur. <laughs> So I'm going to put those in his Halloween uh, bucket. I think he'll get a big kick out of them. So, you know, like Ginger Snap like Bunny because Bunny sure was into, uh, sure was into uh, dinosaurs when he was a little. He was. And he watched The Land of Time over and over and over again. I know, right? Look at that. I'm in a... Ooh, spooky, scary, spooky, scary Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> that was an homage to Karen. Um, so I got, I'm not going to turn this around because it is a mirror, but this is one of the small candle mirrors at the Dollar Tree. And I got this to go in our Christmas village because I thought this would make a cute pond you know, in our little Christmas village. So I got the round um, mirror. So I thought that would be really, really cute. I know, right? I'm excited. I'm excited about that. And then Valerie did a Dollar Tree haul. I do believe it was Valerie, Auntie Cuckoo. And she highly recommended the scrub bu scrub buddy scrub buddy scrub buddy i said it three times not fast but i said it three times um she uh highly recommended these so i thought these would be a nice quick way to kind of just go over the floor now that we're getting into the fall with the wet wet uh, ground and you know tracking in stuff in the winter time and stuff i thought that would be good um, okay, you, everybody has been hauling these Bolero, um, bath fizzies and all these, these bath fizzies and stuff, and my Dollar Tree, I, I was not finding them at my Dollar Tree. Well, guess what? I finally did. Uh, these are by Bolero. These are the bath fizzers, and this is in vanilla cream, and so I went ahead and picked up five of them. Two of them will be for us here at Lilybug Lane, and then three of them will go into my daughter-in-law's stocking for Christmas. So um, I was happy about that. Happy about that. And I know that there's an apple orange or apple cranberry scent too, but mine just had the vanilla cream, and you all know how much I love the vanilla. So anyway, I think I might run out of time because I've been yappering so much. I also picked up four of these. Now, these are absolutely fabulous, and somebody talked about these in a video that I was watching. It might have been Anna, only in my dreams. I think it was her, but these are chargers. These are the chargers from the Dollar Tree, but these are different. These aren't the shiny gold chargers from years past. These are almost... Um, like antiqued, you know what I mean? They're almost antiqued looking. They're, yes, they're shiny, but they're not that bright reflective shiny that the ones have been in the past. It is very, very, it almost looks modeled. Do you know what modeled is where it almost looks like leather or it almost looks like um, brown paper bag on a wall? Um, very Tuscan looking to me or very country or very primitive because it's not a shiny, shiny gold. And this beading around the edge here is just fabulous. So I picked up four of these. I thought they would be nice here if I needed them at Lilybug Lane for decorating or anything like that. So I picked up four of them, and I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, these are much nicer than the ones that they have had in years past where it has been that gold color. But I did go ahead and pick up four of the... Um, four of the chargers. So I was very excited about those because they almost look like antiqued, kind of primitive looking. I also picked up, um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, five of these picks from the Dollar Tree. Now, you all know, I just said it, we have more of a country primitive, um, you know, patriotic 
decor here at Lily Bug Lane. I am trying to fit in some French Provincial into it. But these are berry picks from the Dollar Tree. Now, these are not bright red. They are burgundy, which is why I liked them so much. Because they're not like, wah, in your face. You know what I'm saying? They are all wired, so they are very, very nice. And so I picked up um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five um, picks of them. So these are out for the Christmas season. So I was very excited about those. Okay, last but not least. Oops, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to show you what I went there for, don't I? I do. I got to show you what I went there for. Cards. Cards. <laughs> I know, right? I went there just for cards and then ended up with all of this stuff. I also picked up an eyeliner brush from um, uh, Wet n Wild. So I picked up an eyeliner brush from Wet n Wild. Okay, my Dollar Tree does not get a lot of washi tape. And when they do, you know, it's usually not very good. I went ahead and they did have some today though. I went ahead and picked up this again. This is the Disco Dot and you all know how much I love this. You've all seen this before. So that's a repeat purchase for me or a stock up. And then they had this black with the stars on it. I thought that was really cute too. And then I picked up this because this is new to me. This is the Woodland Creatures. And it has the deer and the fox and the bunny. And it has the possum and mushrooms. And it's really, really cute. So I went ahead and picked up that too. And I picked up two. I picked up two. So those were the only ones that I saw that I really liked there. So, but we don't get, um, we don't get it too, too often. Uh, I'm almost thinking, I'm almost, I'm almost thinking I should have probably picked up more of these. But anyway, maybe I can text Chewy real quick. So that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. What do you think? I know, just to get cards, I ended up with all that. Can you believe it? I know. So thanks so much for stopping by for two on a Tuesday. I think I might fit the trifecta in too. We'll have to wait and see. I hope you're all doing well. I can't wait to share with you some very special things um, that we have received here at Lilybug Lane and that I have bought. So I will share those with you tomorrow uh, during circle time. Remember, if you have a thought and prayer request, please contact me so that I can include you in tomorrow morning's video. Um, I hope that you are well. I think of you often. You are never far in my thoughts. I hope you are happy. I hope you are healthy. But most of all, and most importantly, I hope you are safe. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great evening.